Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I do a lot of cycling, and that includes night cycling. And um, a company um, that was called RTOP, or R-A-R-T-O-P, contacted me about uh, maybe doing something with one of their flashlights, and I informed them if I'm, I'm more into unique lighting solutions, unusual things. Um, I've got plenty of flashlights. I look for differences in that in the lighting space, and they said, oh, well, check and see what we've got. Uh, maybe there's something that interests you. And it turns out they have this particular bicycle light. And I use a lot of bicycle lights, both for uh, bicycling and for other things. Um, but this guy here was $49. And I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. Um, it actually looks really solid. It's got high performance features. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it's a winner. Now, what am I gonna compare it to? A couple of things some conventional bike lights, um, one of my used to be preferred bike lights, and then what's going on in lighting technology. So first of all, I've been using bike lights forever since you know we used to duct tape a mag light or an old Energizer 2D cell battery light you know, to our handlebars or our bike frame. But um, in the old days, we used like double A batteries. We constantly were carrying those and um, you know, once we went to LEDs, we were just, you know, mind-boggling, mind-blowing because you could ride so fast at night. You, I, that's when I started doing mountain bikes uh, a lot more and mountain bike riding at night was a thing. Um, there are some that, you know, are USB rechargeable like this one. Um, this is more, I would consider more of a commuting light. There are all kinds of different um, small form factor rechargeable lights that take you know, like this one, micro USB, this guy's about dead. Um, but that's what you want, you use them hard. Um, anyway, this is kind of my current one up until this guy. Um, I also use an Olight, but I gave that away to a bike tour or a bike packer, um, you know, who needed a new light. This is a Taz 2000. So here we've got a bike light, go on Amazon. The Taz 2000, $220, 2000 lumens. Or you could go to the um, our top bike light, this is 1800 lumens for 50 bucks. Similar size, similar weight. Um, this one uses three different LEDs. This one uses four. Now multiple LEDs is a thing. Here is the brand or the, the newer Thrunite TN50. This is like the flagship of Thrunite's um, flashlight line. Just amazing. I'm going to be using this uh, for a week down in Utah on a river trip, test it out, see how it's going. Um, this thing is amazing. Notice it's got four. So what do we have here? We've got four. This allows two diffuse lighting for more area lighting and two spots for distance. When I turn this on, and I've got two choices here, you can see this one is more spread out. This one's more focused. I'm going to turn it on and I immediately get I had a battery read, and then this is the hours of light I've got coming out of this thing, and it's pretty bright. I go to the specs here, the overall specs. I've got a 5,000 milliamp battery here, um, 300 grams roughly. It's pretty small, USB-C2 charging, high, medium, low, strobe, SOS. That, that, that's kind of nice if you can you know, get hit by a car and turn on the SOS while you're in the ditch. Um, and then what do we have here for the functioning? Independent high beam mode, because remember it's got the high beam and the low beam. And uh, we've got the high at 1,000, middle 600. 600 is plenty for most commuting. Lows 225 or 255, and then 1,000 strobe. You've got a 900 on the, um, the low beam, or the um, this is more the wide angle etc. 500, 250, 900 strobe. And then if you combine these things, um, if when you combine them, this is saying uh, 10,000. I think they mean a little less than that. Um, because when I look up what it says, um, it's about 1,800 lumens. But what you're in the 970, which would make sense for the high in the middle. I think that's a typo. But anyway, this thing really punches out the light. So let's take a close look at it. Um, I've got the low or the, the uh, wide setting on, which is the two low beams. You can see maybe here, how do I do that? Anyway, it's pretty bright, but just the, the two low ones are on. I can also turn on the, um, the high beams. Now the whole thing is on. 
Um, and you notice that my time went down. It's not fully charged because I've been using it. Um, but this actually allows you, uh, if I cut off, let me cut off the focus beam there. I'm going to shut off the whole thing. Let me turn it back on. There we go. So 79% battery, four hours of runtime there. Shut that off. Go on to the, uh, the high beam. I've got four hours of runtime there. And I can zip through the different features. This one. I can feel the heat coming off of it to low. So a solid performer. Uh, low, low setting, the run times are pretty incredible if it tells me what those are on here, but looking at what this tells. But wait, there's more. If I go back here to the opening, I've got both a USB-C port and a USB-A port, which means I can plug something in to the USB-A. I've got my little Klein USB tester here, and you're going to see I can draw out of here 5 volts. So I can literally charge my phone while um, I'm bike riding. Right there, I've got both of them going on at the same time. Obviously, it's going to chew into your battery life, but it's a lot better for your, uh, you know, your utility when you can use your bike light for a phone charger as well. So if you're bike packing. Uh, and you charge these with solar or, or, you know, when you reach any particular destination, it's a 5,000 milliamp battery that also doubles as a, as a charger, which none of my others do. Now, another thing you might notice, there's some, you know, chunks missing on the corners here. I rode this thing hard and actually crashed with it riding at night. Um, and it's totally fine. It's just, I mean, this is a, an aluminum shell. I just happened to ding through the, the, um, the housing anodization a little bit, but it's still just rocks and rolls. And this particular one, if you look at um, the features, the digital readout, I mean, it's, it's just really cool um, that they've got this to give you that much information. Um, the mount is actually on my mountain bike, but anyway, I don't... Um, it's, a, it's a nice solid lockup. Simple design. Um, now, what else can you do? Bike lights make excellent regular flashlights. They're often fully featured. They're sealed. This particular guy here says, uh, if you look, it's an IPX5. So I don't know whatever that is, half a meter underwater or something for 30 minutes. But a lot of the bike lights are high performance flashlights in a different form factor. And they give you Features not found on a lot of flashlights because they have maybe dual reflectors. This one here, when I turn it on, is all four lights at once. So basically I'm controlling the quantity of light coming out of here, not the distribution of light. But these do allow the distribution of light to change. So when I turn on the top end, I've got my, my spot basically here. And then if I turn on my... Uh, flood. Come on, kick on here. I'm, do, I'm holding it down too long. My, my mistake. You can see it's a different distribution of light. And so that allows you, as a flashlight use, to cover both bases from long distance spot, basically, to wide open area lighting. All in a really solid, you know, a bit kind of square design. But anyway, bike lights, you know, I'm a I have a lot of them. I mean, I have way more than this, but I just kind of grabbed some representatives. Um, and basically, this one, um, I'm impressed for a 50 bucks. Um, you know, that's more or that's less than what these double A's cost at REI. And it's a good solid light. It's held up. I mean, when it went when it went down hard, I was expecting, okay, this is going to limit the life of this thing. And nope, it keeps going. But why shouldn't it? Anyway. So that's the R Top bike light, and this guy uh, is only fifty dollars. That's not much for a light like this, and you can charge your phone with that. Dock out.